Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sam Thai Series Series V's I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks. Come on now. I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff. That Tell me I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I need this to be delicious. It can't not be delicious. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? What happens to be one of my boom? Can't kind of see it properly, but it's one of my Static X shirts. Yay, Static X shirts. One of the Static X sort of revival shirts uh, after, you know, Wayne's passing. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the band Static X, they're a band that's been around since the 90s. Uh, they've sort of, sort of, you know, played with a few different genres, but typically they're kind of considered sort of industrial, new metal, that sort of range. Um, I wasn't like the biggest Static X fan, like when they first hit, like I liked their stuff. I thought it was cool. Really liked the song Push It, but like it took a little bit, you know, it took basically until my friend actually went over there and lent me a copy of Wisconsin Death Trip, their first album, where like I sat down and listened to it like fully and I was like, oh my God, this is fucking awesome. But sadly, even with that being the case, uh, I never actually got to see the band performed live with Wayne Static, the original singer. Uh, sadly, he passed away almost a decade ago now. But when they decided to kind of reinvigorate, you know, bring the band back sort of thing with a new singer, I knew I wanted to be part of that. You know, I wanted to take that opportunity. And I've ended up really loving it. I've actually seen them perform live a number of times now. I have videos of those performances on my channel, just in case maybe you want to check them out. If nothing else, I can kind of point you in the right direction as far as their music goes, because I think they're a really good band. But anyway... What am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why do I need this to be good? Because, folks, I decided to hop on out to Boom DQ for one of their September of 2024 Blizzards of the Month. They have, like, I'm not shitting you, I think about six of the damn things. Because I, I was just like, oh, you know, go get the Blizzard of the Month. Well, they have, like, fucking Cheesecake one and this one. They have about, like, half a dozen Blizzards of the Month. But when I saw this one, I knew I wanted to be part of it because this is their French Silk Pie Blizzard. Yeah! Folks, I love French Silk Pie. I specifically don't eat French Silk Pie with any frequency because it is damn near crack addicting for me. I love it. So it's one of those things, you know, maybe like a Thanksgiving or something if, you know, somebody brings one. Sure, I'll have a piece, you know, but I need to stay my hand. But when I saw this, I was like, I guess I'm in again. But let's go ahead, let's get a thing for the thing. We'll kind of see if we can't make this work. And it looks... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ha 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 Let's give it a go. Ooh. Okay. I see what they did there. Definitely incorporated some whipped cream into the whole situation. It's great. Works perfectly. Helps give it that French silk pie kind of kind of zing to it. Plus, I love whipped cream. I actually used to work at a little local supermarket bakery back in my, my late teens, early 20s. And uh, that's when I learned the difference between whipped cream and buttercream. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying buttercream doesn't have its place, but whipped cream is far spirit, in my humble opinion. Um, okay. Like the whipped cream. I'm also liking the chocolate bits. You know, they're nice. They're definitely very rich, very sweet. Ooh, and there's crunchy stuff. I'm guessing that's meant to sort of emulate the pie base. I don't know what it is, though. I would almost expect something like along the lines of like a graham cracker, maybe. Maybe that's what that is? Hmm. Interesting. I 
I'm kind of surprised that they didn't use like a chocolate ice cream as the base. Why would it be in a French silk pie? Chocolate is such a major part of that experience. But it seems like instead they just tried to kind of cram chocolate elements in there. Kind of make it work. Kind of work. Kind of. I wish I knew what that crunchy stuff is. Maybe toffee? Hmm. I mean, it's a decent blizzard, but I gotta admit, it's not living up to my expectations. And when I first saw the thing, and mind you, even in the pictures, it looked like they were using, like, chocolate as the base. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm not the blizzard specialist who's making the damn thing. Uh, it's not a bad blizzard. I can kind of see where they're going as far as, like, the French silk pie aspects to it. You know, it does, they do cram a lot of chocolate in there. So you are getting a pretty chocolatey experience, even without a chocolate base. Like I said, the whipped cream is nice. Unfortunately, you lose it pretty quickly because it's probably, you know, more at the top than anything. Uh, the crunchy bits, I don't know about. Again, I'm assuming they're trying to emulate the... Uh, you know, the base of the pie, it just feel too crunchy for that to really work. Like, French silk pies, you know, nice, very soft, or very soft pie. These, I feel like those chunky bits are just, they're, yeah, they're just too solid, you know. Again, I'm thinking almost maybe like a toffee or something like that, like a toffee kind of crunch. I I'm almost would have preferred something like a graham cracker. But here's the thing. Three questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Do I think it does a great job of emulating a French silk pie? Yes, yes, no. Here's a, <clears throat> So here's the thing. First one's going to tie in with the third one. For me personally, I do not think this tastes that much like a French silk pie. Again, I kind of get it. There's elements that are sort of giving it, you know, French silk pie vibes. And I understand... Obviously, you're going from pie format to blizzard format. You know, it's not going to be a one-to-one. -one. I get what they're going for with it, and I do think certain elements kind of work. I like Again, I like the richness of the chocolate. I like the whipped cream aspect. But fundamentally, I feel like it's too far away. You know, maybe if they'd used a chocolate uh, ice cream as the base, maybe that would have helped and then, you know, kind of work from there. Or maybe it would have made it, you know, you know, maybe it would have completely overridden the rest of the experience. I don't know. But... I do, here's the thing, but the other thing is, because I kind of went from one thing to another there, um, I do like it as a blizzard. Like, it's really tasty. I do, again, the only part of it that kind of I'm a little bit here or there on are the crunchy bits. I want to like them as a textural element because they do add in that crunch. However, I feel like they're too crunchy, you know? Like, they're, they're almost just like, you know, I'm almost worried about my teeth because they've got, you know, quite a bit of bite to them. So, yeah, this is one of those ones where it's like, I don't think it tastes that much like what it's supposed to taste like, kinda, a little bit, but I do like the overall, because, like, it just works, you know, and again, I like the elements that are there. Um, by that same reasoning, if I'm going over there and I'm recommending it to anybody, it's a good blizzard. I'm not going to say it's the best blizzard I've ever had or anything, but, like, fundamentally, it's all very tasty and good, uh, but if you're going into it like I was expecting, you know, this, like, almost, uh drug fuel deliciousness, crazy, amazing, you know, French silk pie flavor, you're not going to get that, you know, it's just, again, it's, it's too far off from what it's supposed to be, in my opinion. It's still a good blizzard, so I'm not going to tell people not to try it, but, again, if you're, if, if you're going into it with the expectations I did, yeah, I think you're going to be let down, so... Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Tremendous rest of your year, folks. Go with yourselves a truly proper French silk pie tastic rest of your life. Just keep that shit. Okay, look, you know. Keep it on the, on the down low, okay? Otherwise, they're going to go over there and try to send me off to fucking rehab or something for it. I don't need that shit on my conscience. Final two things. Number one, 
try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what's your favorite pie? I mean, I don't know about... French silk pie could be my favorite pie. But... You know, I could kind of go one where, you know, I've had some other really good pies, too. So, but I'd be interested if you have a favorite pie. Are you a pie or a cake person? I'm more of a pie person than a cake person, proudly. But, you know, certain types of cake. The fact that cake has to go over there and Shanghai cheesecake into its, uh, its repertoire, even though it's clearly a pie, I think shows the weakness of cake. doesn't have the confidence in it itself to really stand on its own. It's got to go over there and take one of the proper pies. But anyway...